Hi guys, Grandma Anna Anders Humbly here on this YouTube channel. And yes, I'm showing you my feet. I don't care. I need a pedicure and a mani and all that happy stuff, but who cares? Anyways, uh, long story short, I just wanted to give a shout out. Um, got really sick after the weekend with my grandbabies uh, here. And, um, you know, it's kind of, I wanted to do a, uh, some posts, okay, and talk about some things. But maybe I can try and do that here right now. So what I want to say is, number one, people. If you have a uh, family, which I'm sure you all do, I'm not trying to be funny or anything. You know, when you have children, please raise them and teach them to wash their hands after they use the bathroom. Okay? Please raise them and teach them to brush their teeth. Okay? Um, and wash their hands and do proper hygiene things and stuff. Because germs really do get transferred uh, to people unknowingly. Okay? So that's all I want to say there, number one. Number two, people, yeah, really, I mean, seriously, young moms, like, te teach your children how to brush their teeth and wash their hands and all that happy stuff, okay? That's important stuff. More important than what the Illuminati's putting out here for us to be doing, the naughty stuff. So not that shit isn't important, okay? So um, what I want to say further is, you know, because... I'll give you an example how that translates later in life. My mother-in-law, she was a school teacher, okay? I've lived now with my mother-in-law for I don't know how long. Um, God, seven, five to seven years, maybe even more on and off prior to that. But uh, what I want to tell you is she was a, she's a retired school teacher. And out of all these years of living with us, I noticed something here recently, which is... She would always use the bathroom. Hurry up and use the bathroom. And I'm talking, yes, taking a pee and taking a poop like all humans do. And then all of a sudden hurrying up to get out of that bathroom. But she made sure she would look at her hair and fix her hair. Okay? But not washing her hands. Not washing her hands at all. And so that doesn't fly very well in my home with me at all. Because I'm a person. I wash my hands. I have dial soap, I have Irish spring soap, I have antibacterial soap, so the soap is no excuse. And being poor is no excuse, okay, people? Being poor is no excuse for not washing your hands after you have, after you use the restroom, okay? It's nasty not to do it otherwise. You know, she used to have some issues and I wondered about that and I didn't understand it and recently I almost... I almost died because of a leg infection, my left leg here, and it had to do with my lymphatic system, and it had to do with um, an injury that happened at work, so my lymphatic, the injury got infected, and then um, my lymphatic system got affected by it, and I ended up with full-blown cellulitis in my left leg, with my left leg shutting down entirely, and I had to treat myself with that injury. Because I went to the medical institutions and I got to tell you, I didn't find the solutions. As a matter of fact, I got put off and disrespected. But that's another story for another time. Um, what I want to say, it's very important to make sure that people wash their hands. Even, you know, from children on up to adulthood. Okay? And it shouldn't be my job. It should not be my job to teach an adult woman how to wash her hands at 78 years old. But it is currently as a caregiver to my mother-in-law here. So, but I will say, um, what do I want to say about that? It's frustrating and aggravating at times um, because, yeah, that's that's the uh, that's the routine. Go poo, go pee, and fly off the toilet seat and look in the mirror and fix my hair right away because the hair is real important, you know. No, it's not. What's important is wash your hands, soap and water. And then start touching your hair, okay, to fix your hair and stuff. I mean, people, I don't know how people live their lives ass backwards, but they do. And I don't get it. And don't use the excuse, well, we didn't have water and all that horse shit. Because it's horse shit, okay, it's just an excuse. And school teachers teaching in school have access to toilets, bathrooms, soap, and water. So some of these behaviors are inexcusable, teachers. And uh, anyone that doesn't wash their hands, because you're just transferring germs 
and it's really gross. So that's all I want to say. People get really sick. So when I got really sick this past weekend, and um, I don't mind getting sick just to get sick and getting ick, you know, like because the flu's going around or, or, or whatever's going around, but to get sick because of, you know, people not taking care of their hygiene stuff, it's like, ugh, not good. So, yeah, I went to the doctors today, and they gave me a prescription for antibiotics, and um, I couldn't even get my prescription filled because of insurance stuff, but that's another story for another time. Um, so, what else do I want to say here? Uh, you know, I also met another lady, I met another person that has a story, and oh my God, what I learned tonight uh, from this lady was very interesting. So, she's about my age, and she had a situation that happened to her on her job, and, um, my God, the stories that you hear from people, and the unacceptable behaviors of disrespect, and the levels of disrespect, and corruption and cover-up is, it's off the hook, man. Anyways, that's all I'm going to say, and I'm going to shut up for now, and uh, that's it. Grandma Anna's done talking here. So, yeah, if you use the bathroom, people, use the bathroom, flush the toilet, you know, clean up your private parts or whatever, Flush the toilet, get off the toilet seat, get to the sink, grab the soap, turn the water on, wash your hands, turn the water off, and then fix your hair, and walk out of that bathroom. You know, this way you're not doing it ass backwards. You know, taking a shit, taking a piss, getting in front of the mirror, and fixing your hair, and worrying about how that looks. You know, while you got shit and piss still on your hands. It's just so gross. Okay, I gotta go. I'm, I'm just ranting, but it is what it is. Bye.